Hello there. How's everyone? Let me know if there's any mic issues. Since I'm using my headset, I want to make sure there's no mic issues. I also have, uh, what is it, fans on the background. So let me know if you can hear me loud and clear. So this is going to be a brief live. Um, so let's get on with the announcements first. So I don't know how long it's been. It's been, a, I guess, almost two weeks or so, close to over a week. But recently I lost my monetization. I don't know exactly what is going on. But YouTube apparently pegged me as someone who has been using reuse content. I don't know what content I've reused. I feel a lot of people reuse content. I mean, do you see what people are covering these days? They're covering the same story. P. Diddy, P. Diddy. Do they get hit with reuse content? I don't think so. <laughs> but hey, that's what YouTube decided to do recently. Thank goodness I don't use YouTube as my main source of income, because if I had to go a whole month or longer without income from YouTube, it would drive me up to a nearby wall. <laughs> oh, hi, Mo. Hi, hi, everyone that's coming in. So I got hit by, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I barely make any content. The only exception for me is if for some reason it has anything to do with the watch hours. That's the only exception to the rule. I didn't know that you had to <laughs> uphold watch hours. I had no idea. I thought that once you met the general requirement, you know, in my time, it was a thousand subs, four thousand watch hours. Then you get monetized, and I thought that you didn't have to worry about watch hours once you got monetized. But apparently, I was wrong. You have to worry about watch hours even if you are monetized. So I'm thinking, okay, well, it looks like I had a slip up there. I had no idea, <laughs> none. Did she really lose her monetization uh, or did she just, I, I read her uh, community post yesterday, but I couldn't tell if, because it felt a little bit vague when I first read it, I couldn't tell if it, she just decided to turn it off or if she actually just got demonetized. I, I don't know. I mean, if someone wants to clarify, I would, I would appreciate it because I heard that she got demonetized, but when I read her community post, it looks to me like she could potential, she probably turned it off for all I know. I don't have a clue. I don't know. Oh, she lost it? Okay, well then that's even worse. I feel, I feel horrible for her. I hope, well. You know, I don't, I don't feel bad about losing my monetization because it comes and goes. I mean, I don't put too much emphasis on YouTube, but I don't know tragic situation. I don't know how much she depends on YouTube. So if she heavily depends on it, then I feel very bad for her because clearly she's funny. She's a comedy relief. She's really great in this community. I feel that she just uplifts uplifts people's spirits, so I feel bad that she had to lose her monetization in the process. Oh yeah, it got me too, Mo. I, 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 that was basically my last community post. I, I said in a nutshell, uh, well, I got de demonetized. I might have to go to Kick, Rumble, 
you know, through the help of you guys and others, hopefully get a, you know, like a decent size fan base so, so that I can, you know, upload there and maybe make money if I want to make money over there. But then again, I don't use I don't use these platforms to make money. I have a life outside of this platform, so I don't care too much about making money on this platform. But I might make one. I mean, I deleted my <laughs> I deleted my Rumble account. So if you haven't seen me on Bombshells, it's because I deleted my Rumble account. I have to create a new one. I really dislike that Rumble doesn't give you the option to change your username. It, re it really upsets me that they don't give you that option. But I might have to go to Rumble eventually, again, with a new account. I, I also got frustrated trying to figure out Rumble. It's just, I didn't get it. I, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't understand the minutia, the details that go with Rumble. So I deleted the account. That's why you haven't seen me over there. It's not because I don't want to be there. It's because I deleted my account. Hi, Jen. How are you? So, yes, I deleted. Um, not I deleted. I got, well, I deleted my Rumble. But I also got uh, demonetized as well. I don't know if this is something that's going to keep happening. But I think a lot more channels might get struck. Their monetization might get struck at some point because i mean it happened to tragic and i thought she had plenty of watch hours i mean compared to me i mean she has a bigger fan base she has a bigger channel so the fact that she lost her monetization i wonder who else is going to get their monetization taken away <clears throat> but again it doesn't really bother me because i don't use youtube on a daily basis, I don't make my living based off YouTube. I feel that's stressful to to focus on YouTube as your main source of income. I feel that's just for me at least, I feel that's too stressful. I don't know how some people manage it. I mean kudos if you if you've made success and you are able to achieve it through YouTube. I just feel that's a lot to take on. But I mean, what do I know? I don't have that type of success to even make much of an opinion. <clears throat> oh, is it? Th that's good to know. Oh, hi, Jonathan. Yeah, it messes with mine too, all the time. Like, you know what YouTube has done? It's been annoying, but <laughs> have you guys gone through this experience or am I by myself when I, because recently, um, every time I get a notification for um, bombshells, I'm thinking that she's, you know, creating a new live. But these past few days, every time I click the notification icon to go straight into her YouTube, it sends me back to a live she did a few weeks ago. In fact, one of the ones that I clicked recently sent me to a live from three months ago. And I said, what the heck is wrong with YouTube? I mean, I'm thinking this lady's live and it's sending me to a live from a few weeks or a few months ago. I'm like, what is wrong? You guys are promoting the wrong video. This is a few weeks old a few months old she's not live right now yeah i think that's it i think that what ultimately what's happening is that youtube is going to start cutting people off from the youtube partnership program i think there's going to be a lot of people especially smaller channels that are going to be receiving a cut from the program. They're just going to be removed completely. And I mean, I don't know what's the difference because some of this, some of these bigger channels, 100K subscribers, all I've seen them do recently 
is upload the same content. P. Diddy did this, P. Diddy did that. But I don't see them getting their monetizations get taken away. But again, I'm just lucky enough that I don't depend on YouTube, so I don't have to worry about it. If at some point I decide, well, maybe I can just put my cash app, a Venmo, a PayPal, everyone does it. So obviously I shouldn't be exempt from the rule. But not that I would, I would do it right away. I'm just saying if I choose to do it, I have every right to do it. And of course, I would only encourage anyone to donate what they're willing to donate. You know, don't donate to be my friend because that's not going to work, you know. And don't donate what you can't afford either, even if you did like me. You know, I, I'm just emphasizing those rules because, you know, some people just stress themselves out too thin when it comes to their pockets. And then they want to run after and then say, well, you took advantage of me. And that's not always the case. Some people just think that they can gain a friendship by donating to you. And that's not how the real world works. I think it's the videos that got struck. She beat the strikes and the video. <laughs> Maybe that's actually smart. I think that's true. I think what you're saying is true. You did too. I'm surprised. I've been getting videos from three months ago. But this is what I want to say. Um, so I got demonetized. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to show up again on YouTube uh, regularly. I put on my page that I might be back in May. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's going to be May or June. I'm going to be pretty busy because I got an, uh, you know, I got blessed by God that now I was given another opportunity. So now I have more work hours, which means I will be more busier than ever in the meantime. It means I might not be able to upload as many videos or lives as I did before. Hey, MTV. I might not be able to as you know upload because I have officially reached 40 work hours hallelujah it's been so difficult to get 40 hours but i finally got 40 hours god has been good to me so far okay because lord knows that between juggling my stuff and trying to help out my roommate and trying to catch up with my bills it's stressful because I have to juggle a car between me and my roommate. We both have to use the same car. So it's just been hard to find another job, to find another opportunity. Because I have to, you know, take his schedule into consideration. And then I have to take my schedule into consideration. So it's just been stressful. But I finally have 40 hours. I don't know how long it will last. Hopefully, based on the news that I've been told, I'll be able to keep 40 hours until next year, uh, you know, April of 2025. So I'm just like, Lord, won't he do it? Thank you so much because I have been praying. I've been meditating. I've been, you know, Listening to good luck frequency music, all this stuff to see if a miracle can pop out of nowhere. And I feel that I have a bit of a miracle going on. Hi, Snake. So that's the good news. 
the bad news, of course, I got demonetized. It, it happens. I just wish that <laughs> I just wish that when I saw that notification, it wasn't during the time when I woke up because when I woke up, that's when I got the notification that I got demonetized. I was like, really? Is this how I'm starting my day with bad news that my channel got demonetized? You know, it shocked me. Hey, Finger Toes, how are you? So we got, but at least we got good news. Oh, and also we got good news because my intro, my verbal intro, I think I have the words already sorted out. I think I came up with my verbal intro. I like it so far. I think it, you guys will like it once I start making more videos and I present the verbal intro. It took me weeks to come up with it. I didn't know that creating an intro would be this difficult. But I, I came up with it at last. So, and then, of, so we had those two good news. Um, the other, the bad news is, of course, that I got demonetized and that I might not be able to upload as much. But that's about it. And I mean, I don't upload that much, so that's not a problem either. I'm just letting you guys know that I'll be busier than ever. Which I'm okay with it because I've been... I you know I feel like I've been settling for less and that's because I've had to share a vehicle and be mindful of my roommate's work schedule which has put a bit of a damper on me you know because I've been wanting to work more hours and I just haven't been lucky <clears throat> I don't know <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what, I don't know if it's someone, t honestly, I don't know what's to, what, what do people have? What reason do people have to turn on me to that extent? I mean, it, it's possible. I'm just saying realistically, everyone uses for the most part, uh, they reshare the same content over and over. And I don't, and I don't even go live that often. But yeah, I got I got demonetized for reusing content. Well, damn, damn, most of YouTube should be taken down because that's what I see most people do, reuse content. They've been talking about P. Diddy nonstop. That's reusing content right there. Well, yeah, because apparently I reuse content. But again, what have I reused? Because I don't, I don't strictly talk about drama. I don't talk about the same people all the time. And I diversify the subjects here and there. You know, I talk about mental health. Maybe I'll talk about drama. But I don't talk about drama and the same BS that happens here every day. Hey, Patty, how are you? No, it doesn't make sense. The only thing that makes sense is, I think maybe I got this wrong, but apparently when, even when you're monetized, apparently you need to keep your watch hours going. And if you don't keep a certain amount of watch hours within the next year, if you don't meet that goal, then your monetization will be taken away from you. That's the only part that I'm willing to accept. But the other parts, because YouTube gave me that email and it said that apparently I've reused content. That is a rather vague explanation. What have I reused exactly? <laughs> like, what have I reused? I mean, I want an example, YouTube, not just the words reuse content. Like, I will take low activity as an excuse over reused content because then it makes sense okay that's true low activity i don't go live as often i get why you took my monetization away but because of reused content 
That doesn't add up. Now, I'm going to go quickly since I've been talking about, you know, the good news with the fact that I'll be able to work more and everything else. Uh, the verbal intro for the channel is getting ready. I don't know when I'll start loading videos, maybe May, maybe June, with the verbal intro. Somewhere there. I mean, I'll keep you updated. Uh, let me see what else. Because I forget stuff very easily. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the reason why I came here. I, I just wanted to quickly touch on this drama that's been happening since January of this year. I just want to go on record and say that I'm getting tired of hearing from Bombshell's former mod going on panels and talking all this BS. I'm sick of her. And quite frankly, I'm sick of her being content as well. And, you know, that might be a little bit unpopular, but I just have to really get it out of my chest. I'm tired of her. I'm tired of her excuses. I'm tired of her flipping the story. And I'm tired of her theatrics. Hi, I'm White. How are you? I mean, this girl... She needs to be blackballed. I think that <clears throat> what she has brought to this platform is disgusting. And she's obviously doing it because she wants to increase her numbers, her subscriber count. That's basically it. And I don't know why people keep feeding into it. Because that's exactly what she wants. She wants people to keep feeding into it. I don't know if she thinks this is a joke, but if she thinks this is a joke, then there's just something clearly off of this lady. Okay? Oh, I'm talking about PB. I'm sick of PB being brought up as content. I'm sick of PB talking. I mean, I'm sick of PB's behavior. This has been the topic for mostly the past three months. And I just find her nauseating. I mean, the girl is, you know, I talk about myself because I have a lot of flaws, but that woman is devoid of a moral compass. PB, PB, y'all know who she is. PB. I, I don't I don't want to say her name because I get you know I get throw up right away. I throw up right away when I say her name. So I'm not gonna say her name. Y'all know who she is. Bombshell's former mod turned on her back in January, went up on her panel and talked about how I'll give you my wrench because I'm a sellout. Yeah, that 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 person, I think you know who she is. I'm just going to say this. I'm sick of that girl. I'm sick of her whining. I'm sick of her complaining. And I'm sick of anyone who actually is friends with this girl. I don't know how you can attach yourself to this person because you have to be as vile as her to even be friends with her at this point. Okay? You have to be as vile as her 
to be friends with her at this point. I, that's all I'm really trying to get here. All she's doing is normalizing this behavior for content. Did you think about that for a minute? Especially the ones that decided to become friends with her? Because that's what she's doing. She's normalizing. And you know what? If I catch flack, so be it. I don't give a damn. I'm going to say whatever's on my mind. And if you don't like it, then maybe you need to do some soul searching. Because this girl, to this day, keeps normalizing PEDO behavior. And y'all want to be cool with this chick? I'm, I'm sorry. You, I would rather slice my wrist than be friends with this girl. And I, so, at one point, before I knew that she was on Mirandi's, before I knew she was hanging with Mirandi, I went to Mirandi's to show support. I, I, I actually congratulated her for making, what is it, 1K subs. And I remember seeing her there. And I remember her trying to say, um, what is it? She was trying to say, hey, Shay, like, you know, trying to greet me, trying to be nice to me. And I remember when I saw her, because I had to wipe my glasses for a second to see if that was actually her. And when I saw her, I pretty much ignored her. And I didn't even say, hey, bye, nothing. I didn't say anything to that girl. And I pretty much walked away from Mirandi's channel because, I mean, if, if that's your mod, then, I mean, you, if, if she's your mod and she makes you happy, that's cool beans. You know, I'm not going to tell you who to like or dislike, but I'm definitely not going to hang around in your chat if that person's there. Hey, Moonlight. Okay, again, I'm just saying, you can like her if you want. I'm just saying she's not a very likable person. Okay. And I'm ashamed that I even knew her in the first place. I'm ashamed that I even took up for her. Because I felt bad that she had her life exposed for the whole world to see. So I felt bad for her. And I said, wow, it takes a lot of courage to go up on a panel and disclose this much information about you, about your, your husband, and so on. Hey, everyone coming in. Hey, Pekingese. Again, I'm ashamed that I even defended that girl. The fact that she treats this as content is what really appalls me. Because now she's mad that everyone treats this as content. Well, it wouldn't be treated as content if you didn't put this business of yours on Front Street. Did you ever think about that for a minute? Did you think for a minute what came out of your mouth that day? Because you didn't put a lot of food for thought. You were ready to go up on that panel and share your story. No one put a damn teleprompter in front of your face to read and disclose what's going on in your life. You put that out there. But above all else, now you're upset that everyone's talking about it. And this is what I'm going to tell 
each of you, doesn't matter who you support, it could be a different community, a different set of people, but you got to be mindful who you support, okay? You got to be mindful who you call a pedo. You got those kind of things. You've got to be mindful who you mock because there might be a red carpet ready to roll with all your skeletons on display, ready to be on display. Okay, you have to be mindful. And I think that she's so angry, she defended Bombshell, that she's upset that people went into her life and decided, let's uproot her life and let's see what she has going on. Oh, yeah, let me see what you said made me mad even more. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? You have to be careful who you cheer for. Because if the people you are dealing with are doxers and you go after their people, they're not going to have any sympathy for you. They're going to dig your life with a shovel. And they're going to dig until they hit that treasure box with gold. And that's what happened. You, you were talking a lot of smack about these people. They went after you. And now you're kumbaya with them. See, that part doesn't make sense to me. Because if that was me, I would never be friends with those people. And you're placing, you're misplacing anger at this point. Because the anger you have for Bombshell is the anger I would have for them. That's how I look at it. But I guess common sense is a beautiful thing that not many people possess here. You know, that's how I look at it now. And this isn't me saying that I'm a know-it-all. It's just common sense. You know, common sense should dictate your actions. But I guess that doesn't happen here. And I'm just saying, this girl is completely disgusting. The, the stuff that I've seen come out of her mouth, the content that I've been seeing put out lately, I mean, I just, and you know, it's funny because I heard you on Rumble. I heard you on Rumble because I know that I think Bombshell mentioned one of my recent comments when she went live recently. And you saw my comment, and the comment says something about how no one should treat this situation as a badge of honor. And you were like, on Jenny's panel saying, shut up, Shade. Well, now you got me talking, for sure. I mean, it, and the fact that you mentioned me and you mentioned the comment shows you that you wear this with a badge of honor, as a badge of honor. This isn't a badge of honor. I wouldn't gloat about this at all. I wouldn't glow about this, and it, especially if I knew I was, was married to someone with this type of record, it couldn't be me. I would have to swallow my pride and settle for crumbs if I put myself in that situation. Okay? That's, I, that's how I look at it. I mean, y'all don't have to be a fan, of, a fan of me. You don't have to agree. This is not about agreeing with me. This is just common sense. Look at the situation as a whole. Because this is just ridiculous. And now people who always attack bombshell, now you see them talking about their lives, 
say, oh, I have a family member that's tier two. And th these are the same people that are, attack that are attacking others and questioning their character when they don't have any character to spare. When they don't have any character left to spare, but you're coming after me and talking about, oh, this person is this, when you have a family member that's tier two, when you're married to someone that's tier three, you, you got misplaced values, lady. Misplaced values. Oh yeah, she, she is beyond growth. And I'm just tired of her victim act. And I think what people need to do, do it at your own time. But I think what people need to do is people need to start blackballing her. Don't give her any attention. Don't pay, don't pay her any mind. Okay? I'm saying this as someone who's seen her act out for the past three months. And I see people giving her the, the time of day as if she is something relevant. We went over this story. Let's turn the damn page because, quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing her. I don't care about her opinion. I don't think none of y'all should care about her opinion. What she does on this platform, who she's friends with. Because, quite frankly, I wouldn't feel bad at this point. Especially... I've never looked at her the same after that, the part when she, you know, it, it, it still sickens me, but the part when she said that, what was it that the daughter was trying to impress the mother? So she basically made all of this stuff up. When she said that during that panel appearance she made last time, that's when I said, Ugh, I, I, I'm wiping my hands. I'm wiping my hands clean because I would never say that about a child. I would never say that about a child. No matter how rocky my relationship is with my child, I would never say that. Okay? I would never side with my child over a man or a woman, okay? That is, I, that's just, that is just beyond disgusting. And that's when I said, I'm washing my hands clean. I don't wanna know anything else about this B-I-T-C-H. But she always makes an appearance somehow. I mean, when she went to, uh, what is it, Rumble, and she decided to block people on Rumble. And I mean, you're upset that these people have an opinion about you, but you're the one that put this out there for the whole world. And now you're upset that people from Bombs Camp have an opinion about you? When you put this out there, you went on that panel to talk about your husband. You made that decision. No one held a barrel gun to your head and said, hey, talk about your husband now. No one put that pressure on you. You put that pressure on yourself. It's like, it's time to stop talking about it. Stop playing the victim. No one cares about your dry tears. It's time to move on. And the excuses that I've seen from her, oh, well, she, she made the report or she reported on it when she was 17 years old. Okay, so what would you have said if she was 18 to 20? And let's just say he took advantage of her if she was 18 to 20. Because she's of legal age at that point, would you say that she threw herself on him? 
Is that what you would say if she was 18 to 20? Would you say, well, now that she's an adult, she threw herself on him. Would that be your next line? This is, this is just theoretical allege, if it were to happen. I'm just saying. I'm curious. Would that be your next go-to line? And even if she reported it when she was 17, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. That means it, it doesn't matter. If she says it happens, there's a high likelihood that it happened. And not to say that there's no male victims that get accused. There are male victims that are accused wrongly. So I'm not saying that either. But to simply say, oh, we've been fighting this for X amount of years. We've been dealing with this for X amount of years. It's like you're holding that frustration towards her but you're not holding that frustration towards him. That's it. This should not be a topic of conversation. I think this girl is milking this to grow her channel. And it's disgusting that she has to use such a such a horrible story, uh, horrible circumstances to build her channel from the ground up. I mean, surely you have other creative um, talents that you can use to build your channel up. And that's all I really wanted to say. I'm going to keep it very short. And straight to the point, I don't think this girl should be content for anyone. I'm talking about it right now, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to talk about her tomorrow or the next day. Or the following week. I'm just saying this because I'm seeing this being addressed over and over. And it's getting old. That's it. If you like her, let, let's just put it this way. If you like her, good for you, but stay the hell away from me. That's all I'm going to say. If you agree with that, then you have no business being around me. And that's it. And I wanted to get that off my chest because I get tired of seeing this person putting her business out there, still talking about it, and then blaming others for having an opinion. No one wants to rehash whatever happened with your husband. I feel bad for that girl if she is a victim, because again, I don't know if she is. This is all alleged. This is my opinion. If she is, I feel for her. And based on the way you talked about her, I wouldn't be surprised if she was a victim, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if, she, because the way you talked about it, and I think everyone who saw that live stream can agree with me to an extent. The way you talked about that girl, you didn't show her any mercy. You didn't show her any sympathy. It was all about, let me make my husband become the victim of this horrendous story. That's it. That's all I heard. I didn't see anything like, oh my God, I feel bad for what happened to her. I didn't hear anything of this sort. Did anyone hear that? Because I didn't hear that. I didn't hear, I feel bad for what happened to her. I wish they could repair the relationships. Nothing. But now you want to sit and go on Rumble or your channel and talk about, oh, this is nobody's business. No one has the right to talk about it. Uh, 
dummy, you put it out there for the whole world to talk about it. Okay, and quite frankly, I'm tired of everyone talking about it, but I'm tired of you especially complaining about it. And that's the worst part, and nobody cares about it. Well, maybe a few care, but most people don't care about it. And this isn't good clickbait either. The person we're addressing, she's, oh, well, she left. So who cares? Was she that funny? Was she that entertaining? Was she that memorable? You ask me. Especially for those who've been in that community for four plus years. Was she that good? Was she that important? Did did he did she really oh my god jet lag don't get me started <laughs> don't get me started did she really oh my god a grown man you telling me some that a girl thought of this for a grown man you know I don't get it I don't get it I don't get it. Honestly, I, I'm going to tell you this. <sighs> Bombshell was actually nice to her because, again, they have history. She was a mod for her. I don't know if she was a mod for four years or she was there for four years, but she was someone who was there for four years. And she felt so bad for her, her life being put out there. She gave her her own platform to discuss the nuances of her situation. And then it's almost like she was digging her own grave when she went up on that panel and talked about the whole situation. I mean, y'all can agree or disagree, but... Am I wrong when I said she was digging her own grave, essentially? Because she made the situation sound more nebulous the longer she was talking about it. We, di we didn't need all these details. You could have kept it short and sweet. You could have kept it short and sweet. No one told you to go, oh, this is what my daughter, what his daughter, was it his daughter? I'm assuming, I don't even know. Someone's daughter said this in order to impress the mom. And when she started saying all that stuff, then I said, girl, please. Even, I doubt you even had a straight face when you said that on that panel. Because I couldn't say that with a straight face. Could y'all say that? With a straight face, if you had a husband who was a registered SO, could you say, oh, my daughter did this because she was trying to impress her mother? Could y'all say that with a straight face? On, I'm just asking honestly. Can, would y'all say that with a straight face? Humor me for a second because I just want to know. Would you go up on a panel and say all this stuff? Okay, so, okay, well, I'm just making sure because my mind tries to forget all of this because it is just too disgusting to process. I was assuming it was his daughter, but thank you for clarifying. Okay, would you, would you go, even if the opportunity was presented to you, would you go up there 
and eventually blurred the lines. Like, you know what? If I did that, if I was her, I would have a damn notepad in front of me with notes, with notes of what I'm going to say. I would have to have a notepad in front of me with a message about what I'm going to say on this panel because if I make the slightest error, a lot of foul shit might come out of my mouth. And I have to be careful how I address this situation. But she didn't care. She, she didn't care. I would never put myself, and I would hope a lot of you, if you were in that situation, would never put yourselves through that sh shit. what well i'm well you, you're smart petty I, i'm just saying that if you were if you were i'm not saying you are i'm saying if you were which i'm glad you're not but i'm just reiterating if you were would you go up on a panel and disclose all this information because to me if you're my stepmother and you put all of this information on a panel I don't think I, I don't think I could ever have a relationship with you, quite frankly. I don't think I could ever have a relationship with you. I mean, at that point, <laughs> what the heck? There's nothing redeemable about you. So what is there for me to hold on to? Exactly. And you know what? Again, she was gutsy. She wanted to call them out. She wanted to call people from her camp pedos. Her life was exposed. And, and I'm telling you, no matter who you support, you better make sure. <laughs> you better make sure those skeletons are squeaky clean because they're going to come out in one shape or another especially if you go after someone else's camp and the people that run that community are doxers, you need to be careful who you support because they will come after you and they will have the last laugh. And I mean, you, you, you gotta, you gotta turn down the bravado because look at all the skeletons she had in her closet. She pumped her chest with all that energy, started to call people out, and then look what happened to her. And now she's misdirecting all that anger to the wrong person, which baffles me because it's not like Bombshell went after her in the first place. It was someone else. That's the, that's the irony of this situation. Now, Bombshell already explained it, that it was her mistake having her up there. But again, it wasn't her, you know, it wasn't her going after PB. It was someone else. And now basically she's the one paying the price for an unruly mod that had this baggage. And now these people want to go after her. That don't make any sense to me. And the thing is, even if they did this, if I was in her position, I would never go up on their panel. I would, the fact that she was sobbing and she went up there, I thought to myself, do you have any respect for yourself? Do you have any respect? Like, I would not offer apologies. Like, I'm so sorry. I, I would not offer any apologies. Because I, I think it's because she's fame hungry. I mean, I think it's because she wants to keep building that channel up. But, you know, I just wanted to say this is ridiculous. I don't think this girl needs any more exposure. I feel that she, she, she changes a lot. Because if you notice when she, 
when she goes on her 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 live streams she's a completely different person she's very quiet shy but when she goes on jjj's she gets aggressive and mouthy and i think who are you trying to impress these people are using you for content and, and yet you're okay with them using you for content but when other people address you then you're saying oh they need to mind their damn business knowing full well that you are the one who put this business of yours on front street i would never have that girl as a moderator and that's why i left mirandy's because i said well mirandy you may like her but i mean i don't know how you can be cool with this girl i to the point where you have her as a mod i don't know how you can do it and that's why I left Mirandi's because I said, Mirandi, why are you supporting this girl? Like, really? You got me on that one. And that's when I decided I'm going to walk away. And I noticed her because she said, oh, hey, Shade. When I said, hey, Mirandi, she came down under me, you know, because she was in the chat. And she said, hey, Shade. And I was like, what? What is this girl doing here? And then after a while, I decided I have to bounce. This is just. This is just ridiculous. Oh, but she still keeps doing it. That's my point. She still keeps doing it. She keeps running her mouth. She's, she keeps talking smack about others. But she doesn't have that same energy for the people who put her business out there. That's the irony. But you know, let her be herself. If this is what she enjoys, so be it. Again, no one was dangling this content that she says people are using. No one was dangling this carrot around. She was dangling this carrot so that people can nab it and talk about her. Because the the gross details about this subject they don't matter to her what matters to her is making content and boosting that channel of hers that's about it because if you had any common decency you would not even talk about this stuff on a panel and then get upset when people address you and like you put you put this out there no one else did Okay, and trust me, I am minding my business because as far as I'm concerned, this is the only situation that got you any pop, any relevancy. And it's not good, it's not good attention either. Okay, and it's, you, you don't look impressive putting this content out for the whole world. Well, yeah, what grossed me out, I felt bad for her at first when they were laughing at her, putting her information out there. But when she talked about, <clears throat> when she talked about um, the daughter doing this to impress the mother, when she said that line without any emotion, that's when I said, huh. And this doesn't feel right to me. This doesn't feel good to me. This is not a warm and empathetic person to me. But you know, that's all I wanted to say. I think everyone needs to blackball her, ignore her, move on. Because nothing that she says is relevant. Nothing she says is important. I just came and did this because I'm fed up with it and I wanted to get it off my chest. But trust and believe, I won't be talking about this anytime soon. Okay? So enjoy your 15 seconds, PB.
because that's all I'm going to give you. Okay? And quit acting like a damn victim. The only victim in this whole picture is your daughter. I mean, the, uh, your husband's daughter. <coughs> Not your husband, your stepdaughter. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you guys go. I have a busy day. So you guys take care now. And I will see you guys later. Bye.